Okay, let's take a look at problem 9-7, which deals with the calculation of the after-tax cost of debt. Okay, the problem reads that a company's 6% coupon rate semi-annual payment, 1,000 par value bond, which, which matures in 30 years, sells at a price of 5.15 and 16 cents. The company's federal plus state tax rate is 40%, and we are asked to determine the firm's component cost of debt for purposes of calculating the weighted average cost of capital. And they tell us to base the answer on the nominal rate. Okay, here's one way to solve it. Let's drop in what we know. The future value is $1,000. The current value, we'll enter that as a negative, is 5.15 and 16 cents. Okay, the number of periods is 30 years times 2, since it is a semi-annual uh, um, interest-bearing bond. Okay, um, the payment is going to be equal to the to the um, to the one thousand dollar face value of the bond times six percent, but it's a semiannual payment, so we'll divide that by two. So the payment is thirty dollars. Um, let me format that a little bit better. Okay, now the first thing we could do is we could calculate the periodic rate. Um, and I will do that using Excel's rate function. Okay, let's call this up so we can look at the arguments. Okay, the number of periods comes from uh, right there. Cell B10. Payment amount is $30. B11. Um, where are we at now? Present value of the bonds is cell B9. The future value is the face value when it gets paid off. And if we hit enter, we calculate uh, a periodic rate of 6%. Okay, well, to, com to turn that into an annual rate, we would have to multiply that times 2. So we'll take that times 2. Okay. That rounds to 12.0%. We know that the tax rate is 40%. Okay, so now to do the simple calculation to get after tax, we take the annual rate times 1 minus the tax rate. Okay, you all see that. And uh, let's turn that into uh, one percentage point, And that is the answer. Now, in this problem, I think there's an easier way to solve this. I think they say base your answer on the nominal rate. We simply can start off with the 6%, right? Because they told us to use the nominal rate, multiply it by 2, and then just uh, you know solve the rest all the way down. I don't think we needed to calculate the periodic rate in this particular problem because they told us to use uh, the nominal rate. Okay. So that's my approach to solving problem 9-7.